Live from WJZ, this is breaking news. A man fighting for his life tonight after a gunman opened fire inside a sky zone in Baltimore County. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kelsey Krishner. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. A popular family attraction in Baltimore County, now the center or the scene of a crime. A suspect opened fire inside a sky zone indoor trampoline park tonight. The man who was shot is in the hospital in serious condition, and the alleged suspect is in custody. Caroline Forbes. Is on your corner in Timonium tonight with the latest from police on what led up to the shooting. Families and employees were inside this sky zone here in Timonium when police say the suspect fired multiple shots, striking a man several times. A possible suspect in reference to this incident has been detained, and all attendees who were here during that incident have been reunited with their families. Detective Anthony Shelton says around 7 Saturday evening, Baltimore County Police responded to reports of a shooting at the Sky Zone Indoor Trampoline Park on West Aylesbury Road in Timonium. Shelton says when they arrived, they found a man suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was taken to an area hospital where police say he's in critical condition. The victim was struck multiple times. In the torso. Shelton says the shooting took place inside the business near the entrance. He says the suspect fled the scene but was apprehended off site. While the circumstances surrounding the shooting are under investigation, Shelton says there's no danger to the community. At this time, we believe that they are known to each other, and that's why we're saying that this is an uh, isolated incident. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski released a statement following the shooting. He said, in part, quote, the incident of gun violence is shocking, horrifying, and simply has no place in our community. Community. We are thankful that no children were injured in this shameful act of cowardice. The suspect is detained, but at this time, charges have yet to be filed. Police say anyone with information about this incident is urged to call 911. Reporting in Timonium, Caroline Forback, WJZ.